And I'm not sure if I heard anything about remote teams specifically, but I heard about the notion of how management can better incentivize global organizations with regard to innovation. So what I heard a lot about was the notion of how you actually draw people in to actually think differently. So people actually were asked to, in terms of how they do reward programs and, and, and uh, cash grants and how they do it, and how, what, are the, what are the different elements that you can bring into it. And one of, one of the things I thought was very interesting is um, a lot of these things become contests or wikis. Um, some of them have exposure so that everyone else can see what's happening in terms of transparency. In other cases, it's a little more closed and sort of an executive board uh, talks about it or, or uh, uh, kind of votes on, on these things. But one of the things that was a common thread that I thought was important in terms of managing remote innovation was the notion that the innovation needed to be tied to actually the actual productization or the success of that innovation down the line and that how people recognized that was important but no one had a really crystal clear perfect way of managing that. Would you say that in terms of innovation we're kind of at a, uh, a transitional moment or a turning point that, that we're facing a whole lot of new opportunities and, and challenges at the same time? Or how would you characterize where we are as society and industry with innovation. I mean, is it getting more important? Are we understanding it better? Any I think the, I think people are recognizing the importance of innovation uh, much more than they ever have before. They recognize that from a from a survival point of view, from an advancement point of view, it's extremely important. I think culturally, uh, cultures that were actually closed are now recognizing the importance of innovation and are creating the conditions to allow that innovation in a way that they just weren't doing before, which many times includes uh, the commingling of their cultures with other cultures. I think one of the most important things that, that I got out of this and that we kind of discussed a little bit is the notion of perspective with regard to innovation and culture. The notion that, that you get better innovation and faster innovation when people understand the world around them, not even from a world marketplace point of view, but even how their innovation fits into the larger scheme and how anything you can do to promote that type of perspective will actually just quite naturally lead to better innovation. Did you come here thinking you really know what innovation is? It was interesting. We, we actually really got almost into a funk at the beginning of the session because we tried to define what innovation is. Um, I did have my own view on it. I think uh, it's always great to be at a conference like this because there are many people here who have spent all of their time focusing internally, externally on innovation, so it's great to be sort of the, the dumbest guy in the room and, and to be able to listen to their perspective. Um, I heard a couple things that really caught me. One is, uh, is somebody didn't even really mean to say this, but they did. They, they said, uh, innovation is something worth stealing. The notion that if you see innovation, you recognize it as something that is so desirable it creates an emotion that actually makes you want to take it. Somebody was describing uh, a two centimeter, two centimeter LCD panel on a wall and how it's so evocative or so provocative as an innovative type thing that they literally almost wanted to take it with them and take it off the wall. Um, so I learned that one today that I hadn't really thought of in terms of it. And it's, I think there's something very important about that, that there's a rational element to innovation and there's an emotional element. And it's actually the combination of those two that actually really creates uh, the ideal conditions for innovation when both of those things exist. Okay, last question. Um, how, based on either what you knew when you came here or what you learned today, how do you think companies are changing the way they manage talent? I think they talent for yeah, innovation. No, I, I, I think um, what, I'm, what I've seen just in the marketplace, and, and I think it's important that we spend a little time talking about just business innovation here or, or, or product innovation, and there's so many other elements of innovation, whether, whether they're artistic or creative or everything else. But for all of those parts of innovation, I think what's changing is, is people are recognizing that when innovation occurs, it's precious. And what people are doing more now is creating the conditions so that when innovation occurs, it is the, the, the barriers come down nearly immediately, whether it's government, uh, economic, or political, to allow the innovation to actually make its way, whether it's into a product or into art or whether it's into a change in the way that governments operate. It's being allowed to run its course in a way that it just wasn't 10 or 15 years ago. Awesome. That's great. Okay. Thank you.